Well, HP's tablet strategy uh, has been in the making for, for a long time and you know, we've certainly spent the last few years really honing what we offer. And in recent months we've, uh, we've, we've come to market with the HP Elite X2, which is a hybrid device that uh, is perfect for enterprise. And recently we, we announced at Mobile World Congress the, um, the Elite X3, which is a, a handheld mobile device that can provide full computing functionality. But we're really in it for three things. Firstly is to get the serviceability right for the enterprise. Secondly is to make sure that we can deliver a secure proposition and thirdly is going beyond the world of corporate jewellery and providing something that is functional and effective for, for enterprise users today. Well, I, I certainly think that enterprises have gone on a you know, transition period over, over the years. I think the early adopters really saw a, a, a tablet as a companion device to consume content whilst on the move. But really now what we're seeing in the marketplace are tablets that are being adapted for use for full eight to ten hour a day functionality both on the desk and of course away whilst on the move. But you know the second point as well that HP is really interested in is actually working with our channel partners to provide you know vertical and market specific solutions in collaboration with our mobility solutions and that might be uh, workforce transformation, it might be regulatory compliance improvement and it might just be improving the way in which you know, workflows are, are implemented and managed uh, within, uh, within many types of businesses whether it be retail or, or the NHS. What is a a perfect corporate tablet look like? Well I think you know design and aesthetics are extremely important. I think the ability to use collaboration software such as uh, Skype for Business is critical and we've, we've done a lot of work at HP with Microsoft and with Bang & Olufsen to actually create the, the perfect device from a, a collaboration point of view. And I think, you know, really, you know, thirdly, I would talk about the security. You know, these devices are highly mobile and therefore as a result is that, you know, they are hackable and we need to make sure that the proposition that we deliver as a company is secure and attractive to, to that of not just the user but also the, the, the IT manager within many enterprises. And finally is, you know, unlike a lot of devices that we see out in the market, we know that our business and our products are built for business and therefore as a result the serviceability angle is absolutely key to all of this making sure that with HP technology you feel comfortable as a reseller as a as a IT manager and an end user that if that product just so happens to to, to break or, or fail then ultimately they know that they can get that same service that they get from an HP laptop next business day or in fact same day for, for many larger organizations that have business critical processes. In terms of our competition then of course the competitor landscape is, is far and wide for, for, for tablet technology but, um, but certainly for, for HP we feel as if we're innovating and we're going beyond what's currently offered out there in the market and a great example is the Elite X3 that we launched and I mentioned earlier on. That product is a totally new category. It provides you know, genuine computing power in the form of a, of a handset style mobile device which when I look at the collaboration that we've had with Microsoft particularly around the Continuum software that really is going to take off over the coming months and years and I feel extremely confident that HP is actually leading the way in innovation alongside all of the other standard requirements that, that businesses, whether it be small or large, require on a day-to-day -day basis. Our resellers are absolutely critical to, to our success at HP in the world of mobility. Um, in many ways, the, the, the rich history of partnership that we have really is the bedrock to, to our success over the past few years. And that's simply because our resellers are closer to their customers. They understand what those customers want and need, whether it be market specific 
or line of business specific and those really are the skills that we're looking to take advantage of as we grow and expand our presence within the mobility segment. I think the other tips that I would have for, for any reseller partner is leverage the serviceability angle of our products whether it be in terms of core computing, printing solutions, and now certainly within the world of mobility, that is integral, that's our unique selling point and the bit that we should be jointly proud of in terms of how we service customers, uh, both today and of course, well into the future, I'm sure. Pricing and stock management, of course, are is integral to, to the success of you know, HP and also our partners. The, the great thing that we have uh, to our advantage is you know, the best distribution partners available. We have the best supply chain available to us, which allows us to make alterations to inventory management in hours and days rather than weeks. And that really is a, a competitive advantage that, that HP will retain uh, today and of course you know, moving forwards. I think on the point of pricing is, is, you know, we've done a lot of work to make sure that the, the products, when we launch them, they enter the market at a competitive price from day one. And that also is integral to our, you know, short-term success, and that will continue into the future. The final point that I'll make to all of this is, of course, you know, we work on small and big projects, and our ability to get pricing back to our reseller partners within 30 minutes of requesting it from April the 1st is, uh, is, is absolutely critical again to making sure that we have great partnerships and also we deliver great service uh, and customer experience to, to those end users.